Ben and two friends at a bar. Hi, Ben. How's your day been? It was good. I went to a co-working space instead of working at home. I figured it would be nice to try something new. Ben walking near the train station. When is my next train? Good morning, Ben. Good you didn't forget your Envision glasses today. You have four minutes to your next train on platform four and 15 minutes if you miss this one. You've got this. Ben walks into the co-working space with a cane in his hand and find his way to a room. What a hip office space. Grab the free seat on the right side of the table for some coding magic. Two digital nomads are on the left, and there's an olive tree in the center and a faux rug for a natural vibe. There is plenty of natural and overhead light, creating an inviting work environment. You know how it goes. The day doesn't start without a fresh cup of coffee. He is coffee. activating his glasses. It's cappuccino time. Press the button second from the top on the right, Ben. Let's cap it at three cappuccinos today, yeah? In the morning, I had some calls that I took in a meeting room. Where is the power plug? The power plug is right in front of you. No need for cable hunting. I also managed to get some lunch at the canteen. Which sandwich is vegetarian? You have some good cheese and hummus options. Knowing you, you'll opt for the latter. I got to meet some really interesting people at lunch. There was another developer who worked with Linux-based systems. She asked me for some advice. Can you describe the diagram for me, please? Let's talk decision boundaries in data classification using support vector machines or SVMs. The first scenario has a straight line separating two clusters, while the second uses a circular boundary to enclose one. This graph explains how SVMs optimize boundaries to boost classification accuracy. And that's pretty much it. How was your day? Ben is seen back at the bar drinking with his two other friends. Envision empowers people who are blind or have low vision to access everyday visual information for themselves. For more information, go to www.letsenvision.com.